Hi, I'm Pete Eimer, CEO of the Brothers of Mercy. Over the past year, there have been many new projects and developments on our campus, and I'd like to share a few of them with you. Our Keystone project is the construction of a new enhanced assisted living and memory care community. This state-of-the-art 92,000 square foot facility will complete the full spectrum and continuum of care we offer residents. This brand new facility is scheduled to open in late summer. As Western New York's largest retirement community, we serve over 1,000 res residents each year. Many of them have demonstrated their gratitude and support through annual donations. And as a direct result of their generosity, we had a very successful capital campaign that I'm proud to say has raised over $3 million. A special thank you to all who helped make this happen. The success of that campaign gave us the funds necessary to build the new enhanced assisted living building, remodel the first, second, and third floors of the nursing home, and completely renovate the fourth floor of our rehab center. In addition, a new roof and a new entrance were put up for the nursing home. In the past five years, we've completely updated our skilled nursing facility and senior apartments, opened Montevore Heights, built the Russell J. Salvatore Outpatient Rehab Clinic, and are currently building the Enhanced Assisted Living and Memory Care Community. In essence, we have a brand new campus. 2019 was also a breakthrough year regarding leadership. Teresa Dillsworth took over as our skilled nursing and rehab administrator, and coupled with a new centralized admission system, census numbers have never been higher in the history of our organization. We continue to maintain our five-star rating, and Newsweek recently ranked us number 12 out of over 600 homes in their best nursing homes in New York State list. The Russell J. Salvatore Outpatient Clinic has been open for over two years now and continues to grow and thrive. Both Montevar Heights and our senior apartments provide safe, comfortable, and independent sen senior living options with price points that can accommodate virtually anyone. In addition, we're now offering home care services designed to promote independence at home. One of the things that makes our campus truly unique is that we offer spiritual care and faith enrichment to residents, family, and friends. Brothers of Mercy is a Catholic, nonprofit, locally owned organization that's been, been here since 1924. They came to Buffalo in 1924 at the request of the Bishop of Buffalo uh, to go into the inner city and take care of uh, elderly sick people. And they'd ride their bikes to uh, people's homes wouldn't charge anything and live, lived on the tips that people would give them to do that. And they would just serve whoever needed home health care. So mainly really serving the poor and the indigent. Sometimes they would take, people would pay in produce, apples, oranges, potatoes, eggs, whatever they could afford the brothers would accept. The families would call them in to not only help the person that might be ill, but also the family, the caretakers. So the brothers were really some of the first people around that cared for the caregivers. They moved out here in Clarence in 1952. They were looking for land to expand and to build facilities such as we have now. We have on the campus currently skilled nursing, rehab, an adult home, which is a, a form of assisted living. Uh, we have two buildings of independent living. We have this brand new one we're sitting in, Montabar Heights, um, which is uh, an all-inclusive. The new project uh, is about a $21 million project, and it's, it's going to be high-level assisted living. So it's memory care, enhanced assisted living, and assisted living. So our new Sacred Heart home will be a brand new wellness community it is completely innovative, it's revolutionary, and each household will be like a little wellness neighborhood. That's how we're referring to them. A 16-person household, everything under one roof. Success stories at the Brothers of Mercy are endless. We look forward to 2020 as we carry on the vision and tradition of caring and compassion the Brothers' first Western New York congregation created way back in 1924.